What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're back here for episode 2 and we've actually got a main mission that we are going to be embarking on. A visitor. We've got to travel to Hope's Camp. So let's see where this is. Looks like it's not too far. This is where we're at. This is the new Balmont outpost we just found in the last episode. So we need to go here. Looks like this might connect, might not. I'm going to say our safest bet is probably to head towards this waypoint and we can kind of triangulate our way to the camp so we'll uh we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into we're obviously gonna hunt along the way see what kind of animals and tracks and things like that that we can find so if you guys don't remember end of last episode basically we found out that this hope guy he he's living off the land he's, he's kind of like a mountain man like he's he's been living out here for a while he's been having some issues it's either humans or animals that are getting into his stuff so we're gonna have to track things down and uh and see what we can do. So let's just go ahead and start heading this way. We're going to see if we can find any tracks along the way. Like I said, I don't plan on sprinting the entire way, but while we're here close to camp, I doubt we're going to find anything. I love this, dude. I love that we have, like, an objective. You know what I mean? I love that we have an objective, but as soon as we see a big, beautiful buck or something, we're going to be able to Turn around and, and take after it. Dude, there's nothing out here. This is probably going to be rabbit stuff. Ooh. Black tail Black deer trotting. Black deer are one of the easiest animals in the reserve to hunt. Still, be wary of your noise and the wind direction, as their senses are quite good. I'm pretty sure you've already told us that in the last episode, but I'll let it slide for now. We'll see see what happens we're looking for the the cyan tracks here we don't want to don't want to hit any of the white ones i definitely hear rabbits around us i'm looking for some uh some droppings oh what the heck dude that was a bear right there we're just casually strolling through the forest and there's a black bear that goes running by. We hit him somewhere over in this direction. I'm not exactly sure where. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find the spot. Oh, we might have gotten a pretty good hit. That's that's vital organ hit just now. I honestly don't know what I hit, but we hit something. He's running, so we're going to chase him down. We're going to see if we can find him. I would imagine he's probably not making it very far. That's another uh, another big splatter of blood right there. We got bear tracks going this way. Dude, this... What in the world? Looks like he kind of took a U-turn here. He started going this way. Examine that track. We're going to keep going this way. Is that him right there? He's down. Wow. What a way to start off the episode. I, I'm i really curious. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where our bullet ended up striking him because that was kind of a... That was a prayer shot, I'm going to be honest. We hit him in the right lung. Through the right, dude, we, I mean, we kind of quick scoped him a little bit. That is a pretty big target, though. The whole, like, front right half of his body is, is all along right there. So we'll take it. That was a very hard difficulty shot. Got a skull trophy, skull trophy organs. Got $1,000 cash. I mean, you guys are going to have to let me know. Do we actually want to save these things to taxidermize them? Or I would imagine since it's early on, we probably... Unless they're like a massive, really crazy, really big bear, we, we or really big animal, we probably just want to accept it and, and take the cash. Fantastic start to the day, I'm not going to lie. That was uh, that was pretty spectacular. We've got some black tail trotting this way. Let's go ahead and, and see what's going on with this. I'm not going to lie, when we turned around and we saw, uh, we saw a, a giant black bear running right there i i, I kind of wanted to drop some of my own droppings myself we've got some fresh tracks or some fresh droppings of a a black tail here here's some more fresh droppings okay now the one thing that i i did learn the purple that you guys see in our map oh shoot some of these are going some directions others are going other directions um I'm going to see what's going on down here and see if these are tied to it. Uh, the, the purple you guys see on the map. Oop. He hears us. That's a black bear warning call. 
shoot, we've got a lot of stuff out here. Anyway, let me let me pull up the map real quick. The purple you guys see, that's where we fired around. So that's where there's hunting pressure and animals are going to be super, super skittish and may not even want to go in that area for a while. So that obviously kind of makes sense here. We, uh, you know, these animals aren't, aren't stupid. They definitely can recognize when something's out of place and they're going to try to stay far away from that. So we've, we've got to be careful about where we're hunting and, and what we're doing. So right now it looks like we're pushing out of our hunting pressured area. And we might see we've got we've got more blacktail. I kind of want to check out this this black bear though. Oop. Hello, beautiful. Oop. Don't stand up. Okay. What do you guys think? Do we take the shot here? Right in the head. Ish. Okay, got a couple of shots off. Let's let's go see. I, I'm hoping I got a headshot there. I see the thing is is I don't know how bad the bullet drop is in this game. So like I, I'm kind of guesstimating a little bit. That really wasn't that far of a shot. So I think we might have aimed a little bit too too high. But at the same time, if we aim too high, that should be, ooh, no organs hit. Blood splatter just now. Okay, we're, we're going to try to chase him down. We're going to try to put him out of his misery. I don't know if we hit him a second time. I hope we hit him a second time, maybe. Looks like he's got very low bleed rate. Okay. He's got droppings here. That's not actually his, though. See, I, I, think, I think we may have potentially messed that one up right there, if you want me to be honest. Well, he's, I mean, he's still bleeding, though. We've got some some droppings just now. We're gonna keep heading in this direction. I'm gonna get my phone out. We're gonna chase him. He's trotting, he's trotting. We should probably, probably get our rifle out so we can pop a shot if we happen to see him here. I feel bad, I, I don't, I don't wanna just weaken these animals and, and give them a bad day, you know what I mean? Like, I, if we're going to hunt, I want to hunt ethically. I want to make sure we, we take them down quickly and, and humanely. Looks like he went up this way. Is this the same guy? Yep, he's still bleeding. Okay. I mean, even with a very low bleed rate, that could still potentially be a... Uh, oh, he's, he's getting super erratic with his movements. That could still be a... Uh, do I hear him? Black bear vocalization. That could still be a kill. We could still end up getting a kill here. Looks like he went this way. Those are bear tracks, but those aren't our bear tracks. Dude, this is... This is tough. Let's see how old this is. See, this is very fresh. So maybe he went this way. Honestly, I think he went into the water. Can we swim in this game? I think he went in the water and I think we lost his trail because of that. He's a genius. I'm not gonna lie. He's very, very smart for that. Now it does say that those, that, that the droppings were super fresh, so he still could be around here somewhere, which honestly makes me a little bit nervous. I'm gonna get the shoddy out. So we missed the organ that we were looking for, and we ended up losing the, uh, losing the animal. Oh wait, hold on. These are gonna be, these are gonna be blacktail here. Do we have any bear tracks? No, those are blacktail. Okay. Well, we're gonna keep on going towards, uh, old guys. Set up. Ooh. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's a black bear around these parts. I'm wondering if it's the same one. Hold on. We've got some tracks up here. So they make those calls when they're when when you're really close and it's just kind of like a feeler to see to see if you're gonna gonna move, gonna attack, what you're gonna do. So I'm going to try to stay low here. I'm trying to make as little noise as we can while also moving. 
going to try to see what these tracks are. If these are bear tracks, this might be our same guy. These are bear tracks for sure. He was trotting. Let's see how, how recent this thung is. Very fresh. Which direction does it go? He's definitely over here. Wind is working out for us. I don't like this at all, dude. We are so, we just don't have the senses that he does. You know what I mean? Like he, we, we are at such a disadvantage out here. He is for sure gonna know where we are before we know where he is. Shoot. Are you kidding me? He ran this way. This has got to be him. That looked like a headshot, did it not? That had to be a headshot right there. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Do you not want to go for headshots on bears? Keep track of where the wind is blowing. Animals will pick up your scent easily if they're downwind from you. Dang it, dude. That's a black bear down there. He's straight downwind from us. He definitely sees us. He definitely knows we're coming. This guy has been the most difficult thing that we have hunted in this game. And he... I, I mean, we've hit him twice. I... I can't believe that one wasn't a headshot. Alright, we're, we're just... We're gonna head to, to the old man's spot here. We're not gonna get too sidetracked. This black bear has us just completely frazzled. I can't believe, I can't, both of those I feel like should have hit. First one I can understand, we might have overcompensated a bit, but I almost feel like that should still be a spine shot. Second one, that had to be straight in the head. I guess we just, we, we've got to be more careful. We really, I mean, is the head not really considered like a, a vital spot? I realize it's a lot smaller target, so it's going to be harder to hit. Oh, is this him? Are you kidding me? He came all the way down here towards our objective. Okay, so we just got a... We got a warning call over there. So these are the tracks. Dude, I'm, I'm bound and determined to get this guy. His last call came from right over in these trees. There's a moose right there! I don't think we have the ability to take a moose down. I'm waiting on the black bear. We, we for sure don't have a big enough round to take the moose down. There's no doubt about that. So we've got a moose and a bear and a, a man in the woods. Who's going to end up winning this one, boys? Got a sinking feeling it may not be me. That's a black-tailed deer. Bear went down this way. I, I don't I don't know that we're gonna catch this bear, dude. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I got a feeling we may be we may be out of luck. How old is this? Very old. Yeah, he's gone. I truly love how insane this game is in terms of uh just like we got so sidetracked so many times in a row right there. Like there's there's it, it just it feels so alive. You find a new track, you see a new animal, you hear a new call off in the distance, and you just, you want to go, you want to go investigate. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. So, we're going to keep on going this way. We are 630 meters away from his camp. You guys can see we did make it around the bend of this, uh, of this lake. Can't believe we finally made it. And, uh, we're just going to keep on going this way. Try to pick up a couple of tracks along the way, see what happens. More black bear tracks. Yeah, we're, we're going to skip out on that for now. I noticed you're after moose. Tough animals, I tell ya. Be sure to bring the right caliber weapon to bring them down. That's what I thought. Oh, and while their eyesight ain't too good, their smell is. So keep your scent and the wind in mind. Okay. So I feel good about that. I'm glad we didn't take a shot at that moose, because I, I... They are big creatures, man. Like, it, 
What do we have here? I think it says it on the side of the weapon. Uh, I think it says it when we reload. I'm not gonna waste a, a bullet to be able to do it. We can probably, can we, can we see like, if we bring out the map, inventory, weapons. We have a Ranger 243. So I'm not sure. I'm not, we've got a 243 soft point bullet at that. So it's it's not even the, the best bullet that we can have. Uh, I'm not sure what you need for a moose. That's something I should probably do. I should probably look up like the, the weak areas of all the animals and then look up some of the calibers and different types of weapons that we're gonna need for them. Um, but yeah, I'm, we, we could have taken a shot at that female moose that we saw. I thought about it. I decided to let her go and I'm glad we did because we wouldn't have we wouldn't have taken her down, and that, that just would have been a sad day. We would have hurt an animal for no reason. And um, we, we made a good choice. About 180 meters away from his camp here. Looks like he picked a pretty nice spot. Look at those mountain ranges off in the distance. This is so beautiful. I can't wait to check out some of the other maps, too. We'll have to figure out how we want to do that when we want to change that sort of thing. You're getting close. Hope mentioned seeing some tracks in the mud. See if you can find them. All right. So I definitely see... Ooh, take out your camera, press P. Look through the viewfinder and take a photograph. Photos taken from the camera can be something interesting. Ooh, that's a black bear. Can hear him over there. I'm going to see if we can see him. I mean, I would imagine... I would imagine we came in a little hot and he's he's probably long gone. We're gonna be fine. So I can definitely see the tracks over there. Let me check this. No. Nope. We do have these two things over here. What is what is this little guy? Let me let me go ahead and check this them. out. Great. Snap some pictures for the record and see if they lead anywhere. So that's our landmark. What are the tracks? You said I found them. I saw some blue tracks down here. Is that what we were referring to? Um, let me bring out our phone here. These guys? Those are human footprints, for sure. So let me bring out our camera. Can take a photo. Those show up in our screenshots. Interesting. I mean, not the most exciting thing in the world, but uh, let's... Can I not? I'm going to check to make sure. Yeah, we're going the right way. Definitely a human footprint. Hopefully we're not following hopes. Oh, it still says to take a photo of the tracks. Ah, it's... It wanted yeah, us to take the, the original ones. Looks like a troublemaker then. Now, I don't want you to go pick in any fights, but maybe you could follow them and see where they lead. Dude, see, this makes me a little bit nervous. What kind of a psychopath is going to be stealing from a man already out here living in the woods? Like, this, this is, this is how you get shot. This, this is, this is how some bad stuff goes down in a place where you can't, uh, some ripped clothing. Can't get any help. No more tracks, huh? Well, just leave it for now, and I'll see what I can come up with. This will help, though. Thanks. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oop! It disappeared on me. I was gonna say I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a picture of the ripped clothing, but I guess that's, uh, I guess that's not gonna work. I think we took it down to, to give it to our boy. All right. So, mission is complete. Do we have any new missions? Heard from Doc. You helped out with the camp. Thanks. Can you help out some more? Sure thing. Why don't you try hunting down a white tail or a black tail? Go for a clean hit in the dark. All right, so we are gonna travel to Lake Cheetah. Lake Cheetah, or Chila, is gonna be all the way up here. Sounds uh, sounds good to me. So let's, I mean, we could probably just kind of try to head, head straight that way. We probably wanna turn around and it's gonna be able to cross over through the water a little bit. So I actually traveled back here to Balmont. I'm gonna access our cache. Let's take a look at our garage, our Sabre 4x4 charcoal. I'm gonna request this. Your vehicle has arrived. I wanna see, I wanna see what this is all about. We can enter this. Ooh! Okay. 
I mean, there's not gonna be a single animal for miles around us. But that's alright. Dude, we are flying right now. I love this. So we're just gonna head straight for Lake Chila. We're gonna get there in a quick, fast train. Now, it's said to get a clean shot in the dark. I'm not sure what they meant by that. I don't know if we have to wait till nighttime. Some nighttime hunting might actually be kind of interesting. Alma Lake. All right, we're just gonna keep on going. Let's try to stay on these trails. Maybe I would imagine. I mean, if this is if this is a legitimate like hunting lodge or whatever you want to call it, there's probably a lot of hunters that walk down these trails. So these trails probably aren't too used by the animals anyway. I mean, I do see some track cr tracks crossing our path, but I'm just trying not to uh, to disturb the peace too much. We're going by the hiking cabins. Dude, this thing flies. We're going 46 kilometers an hour right now. Doesn't sound like much, but when you're going through the woods and over bumps and stuff like that, that's actually, that's pretty significant. We have, uh, oh, no, we're good. Okay, just know, Trev, if you check your map, you keep on rolling. Oh, we're good. She's seen worse. Uh, I was gonna say we might have some water in between us and where we're going, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna have to go up through this. Okay. Yeah, we're we're gonna pretend like that <clears throat> that didn't happen. I sincerely hope that those will respawn and we didn't just lose one of our four wheelers. So you guys can see we made it here to Chila Lake. Uh, and let's let's go ahead and remove this waypoint. So it says that we want to harvest a white-tailed deer or a black-tailed deer at night. Now it's currently 4:24 p.m. in game. I don't really know how the day and night work. Do we just have to wait? Can we shoot them in the daytime and then wait to harvest them at night? Like how how does how does this work? Okay, so from what I what I understand, I'm not gonna be able to do it while I'm out here. I'm wondering if there's like some sort of a sleeping bag item or something. That wouldn't surprise me. Obviously, we know when we made it to the Balmon outpost at the end of the last episode, you did have the option. I think you could pay 50 bucks to rest, and you can skip ahead so we could we could go hunting at night. Um, Man, that's kind of unfortunate because we already came all the way out here and we already sacrificed an ATV to make it here. Why is everything so crooked? What? Has it been, it hasn't been crooked the whole time, has it? I don't know what's going on. That's that's making me a little bit sick. So yeah, dude, we're, I mean, we're not, we've got a lookout point over here. I, I'm, I might go run over to this lookout point just to activate it because we made it all the way here. Oh my gosh, this is, this is tripping me out. Why is this so sideways? Can I change this please? I don't think we can. So yeah, we're, we're gonna have to travel back to Balmont if we wanna, wanna be able to pass some time and hunt at night. But I feel like that's kind of a good spot to end it. You know, we did get a black bear today. Missed our second black bear. Didn't really see much of anything else, but we did get to explore the map a little bit. We're kind of learning as we go, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't expect to be an expert overnight, and uh, we're just kind of, we're, we're kind of taking our time with this, which, which there's nothing wrong with that. So, I'm thinking in the next episode, we're going to try to, uh, try to, first of all, right ourselves, so we're not running at this super awkward angle, but we're going to try to, try to skip ahead and do some nighttime hunting, which I feel would be pretty intense. Um, I'm kind of excited for that. I'm also a little bit nervous for it. If we if we go back to the main menu and then we reload this up, I'm pretty sure we respawn back at Balmont, which is quite a ways away. But we're gonna reload this up. We're gonna respawn back at our last outpost. Are we gonna be crooked? We are, we are not crooked. We're straight. Can I see a skyline? Tales are hopes, bread and butter. If you ever want hunting tips on him, he's your man. He's been with the Blacktails for a while now. If they're on the move, it's not only a problem for Hope. It might mean worrying changes for other parts of the reserve. Okay. We're good to go. I'm happy. Our four-wheeler's back. We could respawn it. Our... our Topsy-turviness is, is fixed and we're going to be good to go. So, next episode... I mean, it's, it's already, honestly... 
almost time it's it's 4 53 p.m i'm just I'm, I'm gonna wait it out a little bit we're gonna wait till it gets dark we're gonna be able to take the four-wheeler over to chila we're gonna be able to take on a black tail and we're gonna do some night hunting so i'll see you guys there drop a like if you guys enjoyed peace out